well, I'm going to school right now for elementary education. So um, I'm actually in a third grade class right now in school, so um, that's why I was third grade here. So it was perfect. We, we came in here really not knowing what to expect. Um, so I guess what surprised us is really how, how well that volunteers can do here um, and how much it's needed. And I was also surprised how welcoming St. Lucia is to us. Um, you know, we're kind of coming here under their direction and they're help, helping us help them. Um, so I was just surprised how kind they are and how much they trust us. Well, Feels good. These are students that teachers have um, selectively chose for the volunteers to work with throughout our time here because they need, they need that, that push and help. We concentrated a lot on math our first week. Um, we did a lot of addition, some easy subtraction just to figure out exactly where our students were at um, and where they need to be placed. I don't think you need to have teaching experience. I mean, I think anyone would, you know, if you really want to do it, you can. Mm -hmm. You need to be organized and need to know how to plan. If yeah. you have that and you know the material, you should be just fine. So we actually want to, for our next trip, we want to come back here and just see the change that has really taken place and kind of, you know, not only see our students again, but also um, reunite with the locals that we've met and developed relationships with as well. And we've spoken with um, a couple of our friends back home and they want to join. They want to join and come to St. Lucia, experience what we experience, and also their teachers too, so they want to apply what they've learned in America and bring it to St. Lucia. Um, I would absolutely 100% do it again. Um, it was a huge life-changing experience just to see culture, um, education change, just something completely different. Um, it was the most rewarding thing I could ever think of doing in my life. So I would 100% do it again. <laughs>